Only a handful of our local military veterans have shared their stories with you tonight. Some thrive after war, others struggle. But what if there was a place where military men and women could come together as one? There is such a place. It's called Semper Fi Outdoor Odyssey, a one-of-a-kind boot camp that in six days and five nights can change a struggling soldier, sailor, airman, or Marine's everything. Heads up here. Heads up. Um, I want to welcome you here. Uh, my name is Jones. This is our 47th uh, week-long event. At an old Boy Scout camp about an hour and a half outside Pittsburgh, I was a Marine for a lot of years, uh, but I started out as a kid in trouble. 29 active duty Marines. They have slack knots on them, so if you push that up towards the claw, it makes it longer. Have absolutely no idea what they're in for. We're recording. It was January 15th, uh, 2004. It was in Afghanistan. They come from Florida and New Jersey. And something, I got a gut feeling like, you know, I just didn't feel right that day. Detroit and Chicago. I've spent over half my life in the Marine Corps. They've been shot at and blown up. A small IED went off about three feet to my left, and it just clipped my foot below the knee. Their bodies so this one, forever changed. This Where I got a sleeve, and then I've got <clears throat> this liner that goes on my limb. If you look real close right here, you can see this is where they had the skin graft. That's what took the longest. But it's the trauma you can't see. You see a guy's face blown off. You don't forget it. You know, and, and, and it haunts you. All right, go ahead. The demons they bring back after war and hide. You know, I've visited a lot of beds. Um, I've been to a lot of funerals. That hurt the most. This is a lifeline. On zip! <laughs> Six days to soar among the trees, to sweat, and to struggle. I signed up when I was 17. All right. Figure it out. To push the limits and to learn how to come back home. You go overseas and you're forced to do things that only half percent of Americans do, right? To protect our country, but nobody tells you afterwards how to deal with it. Nobody really knows. This is Semper Fi Outdoor Odyssey. When you leave, the Marine Corps, I don't care what you're leaving the Marine Corps with or without, is this whole idea of network. Major General Tom Jones is command of this extraordinary camp. It's all about choices, how you live your life. I'm either a giver or a taker. I can't be both. Jones bought hundreds of acres of Somerset County wilderness and built a leadership academy. A sanctuary for soldiers and sailors and for Marines transitioning to civilian life. People in the military are the ones we in society pay to do those nasty jobs for us. They have to be done. But coming home this way... It was 10 days after the first explosion that I stepped on the next one, immediately lost both my legs. Is a lot harder than they think. You gotta sit down with your children constantly and remind them that you can't jump, you can't scare daddy. You can't jump on his back when he's not thinking about it or he's not paying attention. Most have PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. I was just very lucky I didn't burn to death, you know. My, a couple of my buddies did. Right, you can come forward, I'll check your harness real quick. <laughs> and the helmet's good to go, you got the GoPro. They have trouble sleeping. You have memories that pop into your head, you have flashbacks and nightmares. And the drugs they're prescribed don't often work. Uh, right now, I'm on 13 medications. The two most important words in leadership are genuine concern. Major General Jones divides the Marines into small groups, guided by a team leader, a veteran. And, and I know that you guys have a lot of respect for the Vietnam guys, don't you? We have a lot of respect for you. Mentors who become connections to the civilian world. All through the course this week, you're going to meet you're going to meet civilians who care for you and want to impact you. I want to help you. Marines call it a fire team. Nobody can do this alone. A brotherhood that goes far deeper than blood. We're trying to fight for balance in our life on our mental, physical, and spiritual aspects of our life. Oh, the sounds. They learn yoga, relaxing their bodies and their minds. Lights are going off. There's strength training <laughs> and team building. Life's a team event. You've got you've to connect with other people. 
<laughs> Even mock interviews to get them ready for the workforce. But what's going to happen when you sit down and talk to somebody about a job? They want to know about you. They want to know what you bring, not what your resume brings. And by week's end, these men and women who have fought for our freedom, who have sacrificed so much, have the contacts and the confidence to start the next chapter of life. It gets hard. Not going to lie. It's hard. Moving away from the demons. You have to transition to be okay with what you've done. And for a lot of us, that's hard. That's very hard. And reaching for their dreams. I strongly believe that if you know we're able to reach and make an impact, a positive impact on 30 guys' lives every time we do this, they're able to turn around and make another positive impact on 5, 10, 20, 30 more. You often hear people say, we have been at war for more than a decade. We aren't at war. Fewer than 2% of all Americans have served in Iraq or Afghanistan, many returning to battle again and again. Yet in the days after 9-11, we are more acutely aware of the struggles combat veterans have coming home, an appreciation and compassion the men and women who served before didn't enjoy. Thanking them for their service is important, but we can do more. Please go to WTAE.com for links to a list of veteran service organizations that need your help. For all of us here at Chronicle, thank you, good night, and God bless America.